So what exactly are accelerators? Well, let me put it to you this way. Accelerators help you make quick work out of tasks that might otherwise take you a little bit longer. It's going to help you find things. It's going to help you subscribe to RSS feeds, for example. It'll help you find things on YouTube, on ESPN. Uh, it'll help you find a local map. They're very, very useful. Confused yet? Well, don't worry. Watch this video and you won't be. Let's go ahead and let's open up Internet Explorer so I can show you just exactly how cool and how much fun accelerators are. To go ahead and get accelerators, we're going to go up here to our tools menu. And remember the tool icon is that little sprocket looking thing up there. It looks like a gear or a cam. And I'm going to go to manage add-ons. When I do that, you're going to see over here on the left, add-on types, accelerators. I have none listed. So what we're going to do is click down here in the bottom left corner and choose Find More Accelerators. And when we do that, it goes ahead and opens up my Internet Explorer gallery for add-ons. Now, there's a bunch of different add-ons in here. So what we're going to do is narrow it down. I kind of scroll down a little bit here and you see it says get add-ons. Let's select that drop down and simply choose accelerators. And now it's only going to show us accelerators. So let's find a good one. As you can see right now, as of today, there are 186 different accelerators. I'm going to go ahead and download the ESPN one. Stay up to date in sports with the Find on ESPN Search Accelerator. Let's click to install that. When I do that, do I want to add this accelerator? Yes, I do. And you're saying, well, what next, Bill? Nothing next. That's it. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at some others. I'm going to install a bunch of these, and I'm going to have them for a bunch of different things, the different types of accelerator. So I just want to kind of show you a few here that we're look that we can find. Let's do one more for Google Maps. And then I'm going to go ahead and install a few more and I'll be right back. You don't have to watch me go through all of this. So hang in there with me and we'll get right back to it. Okay, I've installed a bunch of accelerators and I've opened my browser up to the Chicago Tribune. It's a local newspaper here in Chicago. And let me show you what accelerators can do for us. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to highlight President Obama's name. And it's kind of hard to see, but there it is. See that little symbol that just showed up when I highlighted that? That's the symbol for the accelerators. I click on that and I... I get the ability to search for that term, that word in Bing, but I also have all accelerators. And when I select that, you'll see all of the accelerators that I have downloaded and installed and I can use to search for that word, Obama. Let's go ahead and let's take a look for that on YouTube. When I click search YouTube, notice it doesn't move me off of this one this tab it opens up a new one and I have all the YouTube videos uh, on President Obama here now that's a pretty good one but let's go ahead and let's highlight the Pennsylvania now you'll notice that I didn't get that little symbol for the web accelerator and that's gonna happen sometimes I mean sometimes you're gonna get it sometimes you're not I'm not exactly sure what prompts it to come up but I can always right click and choose my accelerators here now, I chose to install the Map with Google Maps Accelerator. So when I click that, it's going to take me to Google Maps and give me a map of Pennsylvania. Let's go ahead and let's highlight New York. But instead of, oh, see that? Did you see that that time? I got my little accelerator. There we go. This time, let's look for this on the IMDB, the Internet Movie Database. And see, it'll probably show us a list. There we go. Now we see a number of movies titled New York. So as you can see, the accelerators are pretty good. 
Now, one last thing I want to do is I'm going to highlight this. All accelerators, look at this one. Send with live mail. That'll go ahead and take me to my Windows Live Hotmail sign-in. I could sign in, or if I was already signed in, it would take me right to my Hotmail, and I could link, I could email that link to that article to whoever I wanted to. So the web accelerators are pretty cool. Let's take a quick look at managing our add-ons again, and when I choose accelerators, you can see that I have quite a few of them. The Wikipedia one is really awesome. I like that one a lot. Find on ESPN is great. Share on Facebook. So any link that you have on Facebook that you want to go ahead and share, you can go ahead and do that very, very easily. Let's do one more. Let's see if we can find President Obama on ESPN. I'll bet we can. There you go. His bracket for the NCAA. Very cool stuff, and that's what you need to know about web accelerators with IE9. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.